Museums such as the California Academy of Sciences have long specialized in communicating science to the public. We've been doing it for over 150 years. But in a new world of social media, comic strips, nerd nights, and dancing your thesis, how is the way we communicate science changing? There has been a great explosion, um, a big bang of sorts, of, 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 of creative science communication. We have a landscape where there's so much media, so much mass media, that it is hard to compete. But it also means there's room for everything. People can start blogs, they can start podcasts, they can do YouTube videos, and they don't have to ask anyone's permission. If you really want your science to have impact to society, that is a whole different ballgame. Many of us are not trained to take advantage of all those opportunities to realize science impact in a whole new way from when I was trained as a grad student. And just as the channels for science communication are changing, so are the people telling the stories. There are a lot more people involved in telling these stories than there were before. There are lots of graduate students in biology or physics who just really want to make this part of what they do as scientists. There is a growing awareness that communicating that science from the scientists to the general public is important and valid and not a waste of time. The hardest part about science communication is that I rely and other scientists rely so heavily on technical terms. So with my work, because many of us have had personal experiences with getting sick and infectious diseases, I play upon that experience to try to put my audience in the shoes of a virus, thinking about what it does and how it behaves and where it came from. As these new ways of communicating make science personal, exciting, and accessible, they also ignite interests and engage new audiences. Science is not uh, some sort of um, privilege of the few. I mean, science is, should be uh, available to everybody, and, and I think that everybody should be able to kind of enjoy the, the pleasures of, of learning about the world through science. How can science be? Well, science encompasses everything. Is the sun boring? It's a million times bigger than the Earth. It squeezes hydrogen atoms into helium atoms, and the little bit of leftover energy powers almost everything on Earth. We all want to make a difference, whether it's a difference in our scientific community or even a difference on a worldwide scale. And you can't realize any of those differences unless you can communicate clearly. I don't think that science always has to solve all our problems. It's just a way that we can just understand the world. And I think any time that we, we gain that sort of understanding, that's a good thing.